Tofino. All our tours depart at 6.45. So I usually wake up at five o'clock in the morning, get all my stuff ready, then I go and greet people. Oh, hey, we're going to Tofino, let's go. One of the biggest things a tour guide needs to do is be welcoming. You have guests coming from all over the world. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. He was very excited, friendly, and a very good bus driver. The first part of the day is very busy. We do lots of different stops. I always try to play Canadian music. Sometimes I slip in my dad or my sister. The music was very good, I think. It makes the people very relaxed. It felt like you were in a movie going on a really, really nice trip. Yeah. Gonna drive all night. We arrived early at the ferry for Horseshoe Bay. That means more time to interact with the guests. It was nice to see the view. And on this tour in particular, we ended up seeing some whales. They were about 300 yards ahead of the boat, but you can see them off in the distance spouting out water. This is a lot of our guests' first time on Vancouver Island. <laughs> we went to the forest. The smell was very nice. We saw a waterfall. We are coming in on Coombs. Coombs has got to be one of the best markets because not only do you have really good food, you have this sort of little secret and that's the goats on the roof. It's one of the reasons it's a very unique stop. And it's amazing that I can live on the roof. Awkward situation because we are looking at behind. Yeah. At this point, all the guests are much more awake. They're getting along and they're talking to each other. Here we have one of the local Coombs musicians. The next stop is Cathedral Grove. I didn't know that trees could be so big. We're standing in front of the big tree, which is over 800 years old. It's 76 meters high. It's, wow. And then after Port Alberni, things get a little scary. While the guests are enjoying the view, I have to make sure we stay on the road. We're driving along rivers, along creeks, around the mountains. We are currently about two minutes away from the beach. Who wants to go swimming in the Pacific Ocean? When I started talking about swimming, everybody said, well, I know it's too cold. I said that if they could get at least three people, then I would go. And then sure enough, there was about eight of us sprinting into the water all together. I was like, what am I doing? It's so cold. It was really fun. That's what Tofino is all about. Splashing each other in the water, having fun, being a kid again. You get here, get in the water, you forget you're working. 